two of my presentation. The Me Too movement. This movement is a movement against sexual harassment and sexual assault. This movement began spreading quickly and virally in October 2017. It was to demonstrate the extensive occurrence of sexual assault and harassment, especially in the workplace. Um, a lady called Teralta Burke is a civil rights activist from New York. She was the person who founded the Me Too movement. She began the phase Me Too to raise awareness of inescapability of sexual abuse and the sexual assault in our society today. The phrase development is um, a large movement in 2017. The use of the hashtag Me Too started after Harvey Weinstein, after Harvey Weinstein's sexual abuse allegations. The Time newspaper named Tarna Burke and others, the silence breakers, purely because after they had done all their um, talking and spread it all about, uh, people started talking up about sexual, sexual harassment and sexual abuse. Um, she attends public speaking events across the country and is now senior director of Girls for Gender Equality in America in Brooklyn, which I think is great a person should be able to speak up about the sexual harassment or their views on equality in the industry. So why is diversity a key issue in our industry today and how has it progressed since before? So in 2016, um, when the Academy Awards were taking place, um, there were several, several high profile actors and food banks being film makers who boycotted the event purely because of the lack of diversity in the nominations list. Two years in a row, not a single non-white actor was nominated for an award, even though crit critics said in 2015 had numerous films with outstanding performance from non-white actors. This has evolved today as the US has become increasingly diverse, but also unsympathetic towards other races. Behaviour and phrases that are seen as as offensive today were widely shown on screen and were seen as acceptable at the time. Um, by the middle of the 20th century this had stopped, but it was the only it was the only the start of an ongoing struggle to achieve some sense of diversity, like we're still struggling today with diversity diversity. The industry is still underrepresenting women, disabled and LGBTQ community and also from those of ethnic backgrounds, both on screen and behind camera. The, there are minor people in the LGBT community that are getting employed today in, in the industry, especially in the film industry. Also, only 2.7% with a disability are getting um, employed. How did it improve? So, by uh, Bain is Black, Asian, minority and ethnic. More people from ethnic, ethnic backgrounds are being hired more in the industry today, um, more than any other demographic. Only four individuals have worked on the top 100 films from the years, um, especially Black women are getting um, employed. People with diverse sexual identities are also underrepresented in films and TV, as I said earlier, only 3% of LGBT community are getting employed. There has only been, there has been no change since 2014 in the number of LGBTQ characters on screen. Um, also, actors with disability or people who are differently abled are only 2.3% representation in films today. Um, going on to talk about the pay gap in our industry. Employment is the most common way for people earn money, but when it comes to the performing arts industry, it's slightly different. They are under a specific, if they are under a specific role, getting a fixed wage at the end of the week or month, or that the employer, the employer is responsible for deducting tax, natural insurance, and deductions like such support, for example. Um, for people who are self-employers, they have to do all that themselves. Um, this might be stressful for some people and some people like to get an accountant or an assistant to do this. Um, it is up to you to find work and obtain new contacts um, and decide how it will be done. The problem with this is, for example, two people could be working the same job, e.g. example, planning an orchestra on the violin. 
One of those is on a 50% contract, and the other is in a secured employment place. They're doing the same job, but getting paid differently. Now, I don't see how this fair. If they're doing the same job, why aren't they getting paid the same rate? The pay difference, for example, as you can see, George Clooney, 20, 239 million a year. Scarlett Johansson, 40.5 million a year. The pay difference is 